Hey y'all, so welcome back to Life More Abundantly with Chauncea. I pray that you all are doing well. Um, it is such a beautiful day and God is good. God is good. God is good. And so um, I wanted to release another uh, prophetic word of encouragement for someone. Um, I've actually been sitting on this word for like several days. So I was like, Lord, I just need you to confirm if this is you that's speaking this because um, I never want to just get on here and just speak what Chauncey wants to speak. Um, I always want to be led of the Lord. And so I knew like when God was like, Chauncey, if you don't release this word. <laughs> and so um, I'm on here to release this prophetic word in regards to um, kingdom marriages again. And anytime that God keeps repeating something, it's a sign for us to pay attention. Like something is near, something is close, something is about to happen. And so he keeps putting it in front of you as a reminder to stay focused, do not give up. And so um, this word um, actually comes from a song from Jagged Edge. And I don't know why God has been speaking to me through songs, probably just because it's like the season of love, the season of like kingdom marriage. And so like he is, he, God is not playing about things, kingdom marriages, like they are the real deal. And so again, every prophetic word is not for everyone. So please be sure to take it to the Lord and ask him how it applies to you, if it applies to you. Um, again, if God has already been speaking to you in regards to this, this video will only be a confirmation as to what God has already been speaking. And so this song is called I Don't Wanna by um, Jagged Edge. And there was just like some lyrics. I was literally um, cooking last night and I just started humming it and singing it out of nowhere. And I was like, God, chill. He was like, release the song and then I'll chill. <laughs> but um, y'all, this is just how me and God just be communicated. So do not mind us. But um, this song is called I Don't Want It by Jagged Edge. And I'm going to um, go to the part that really, really stood out to me um, that God was really just revealing to me how your kingdom spouse is feeling right now. You're separated again. You will know if this word is for you because it completely applies to you like your situation and God has already been revealing things to you. So um, for those that have been wondering like how your kingdom spouse is feeling about you, um, you're separated in this time um and god knows the separation but god is bringing you back in its perfect timing and so you've just been having doubts of you know how they feel about you and because they haven't reached out to you it's like okay they've moved on but this is how they're really feeling about you it says i don't want to live without you i don't want to love nobody else I don't want to spend another day and baby, what can I say? Let's just stop right there. Okay. It says, I don't want to live without you. So there, God is waking them up. Um, and sometimes it takes a lot more time than we hope that it would. Um, but we have to allow God to do his work in them. It's not, you know, we that can change them. It's, it's God that can change our kingdom spouse and that can grow them. And so they're recognizing and realizing that I don't want to live without her. I don't want to live without him. And I really do not want anybody else but him. I don't want anybody else but her. Again, please take this word back to the Lord. And then it goes on to say, I don't want to spend another day. And baby, what can I say? So they are like, it's getting to the tipping point where they're like, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not fighting my emotions. I'm not, you know, sitting back in the cut. Like I got to go find my kingdom spouse. I have to go reach out to them. And so I, for honey, this is prophetic for somebody. Do not be surprised when that text or that phone call comes through or that knock at your door comes through from your kingdom of spouse. Like be ready. God has really, really been urging me to be ready. Like if, if you stay ready, you won't have to get ready when God sends that blessing your way. Okay, so stay ready. It says, I don't want to spend another day and baby, what can I say? Like they recognize that they don't want to go another day without you. And so when it happens, it's going to happen swiftly. It's going to happen so fast. So the, again, God needs us to stay ready. And so it goes on to say, I don't want to kiss any other lips. I don't want to move not a little bit unless it's with you, my love. So your kingdom spouse, they, they are ready. I heard this in my spirit today. Like God was like, they are ready, Chantia. Like your kingdom spouse is ready. They're ready to love you. God has gotten them to a place. And for some is getting them to a place where they're like, I'm ready to love. I I'm ready to be the man that she deserves. I'm ready to be the wife, the woman that um, God has for me to be for him. 
And so God is preparing. I'm telling you, God is tilling the ground within your kingdom spouse. So it says, I don't want to move not a little bit unless it's with you, my love. So they recognize that there is nothing in anyone else that they have found in you. Like there's something particular within you and about you that they have not found anywhere else. And so they're coming back home, not only to God, the father into the body of Christ, but you are home to them. You are a safe place to them. You are the place where they can literally just like be themselves. And they haven't found that in anyone or anything else. And so they're recognizing that. And then it says, unless it's with you, my love. And then I don't want to, I don't want to. And then we go back to um, the verse here where it says, it's something else when I think of all the times we've had. Now, again, um, this word um, is for um, this, this portion in particular is for the kingdom spouses who, you know, you were once in communication or maybe you were in a relationship together and parted ways. This portion is specifically for you. And so it's it says it's something else when I think of all the times we've had. So you shared moments together. You shared, you know, times together in the past. Then it says in all those memories, no, I wouldn't trade them for nothing I have. OK, so there these God is bringing back to their remembrance, you know, the times, the laughter, um, you know, the smiles that you all shared. And so it goes on to say only hope that, you know about the happiness and joy you bring to me so again they're recognizing that there's something about you that brings such a warmth to their spirit um again your your home you're a safe place to them and you make them happy you make them joyous even on the worst of worst days you know what to say you know what to do to cheer them up and no one else can do that and it's not just a physical touch it's just being around you that really just sparks them okay and so and that's how you honey this is a supernatural love it's it's not lust but this is a supernatural love and it's sent from heaven and so um that's why they recognize that they haven't found it in excuse me in anyone else because it's directly divine and sent from god above and so your connection is sent from god above so um and then it goes on to say and baby i hope that you know know that you are my everything honey let's just stop there they are finally recognizing that this woman is literally my everything well underneath god this woman is my everything this man is my everything like they light up my sky okay and so this is so beautiful (laughs) i hope this is encouraging um you as it is encouraging me for those that have been wondering how your your kingdom spouse has been feeling about you And then it goes on to say, this is the last portion here. It says, you're the only one I'm giving my love must have been sent from someone above. Um, You're the only one I'm giving my love must have been sent from someone above. And then it goes on the last portion. You're the only one. They are really stressing to you. So they'll come back stressing, letting you know that you are the only one. They're going to make it clear. They're going to make it plain. There's not going to be no more games. Um, They are making it clear that you are the only one that they love. You are the only one that has their heart. You're the only one that they want to be with. And they're going to recognize and let you know that you have been sent from heaven above. You have been sent from God. You are an answered prayer to my life. And um, just be encouraged on today that God, God is really releasing these kingdom marriages. I know it feels like things have been on you know, um, back order things have been, you know, held up, but God's timing is perfect. God's timing is perfect. And every day that you wake up, still proclaim that my kingdom marriage is now. And the more you speak it, the more you speak something, it becomes your reality. So even in the moments when you are tired and weary and I, God keeps reminding me, like Chauncey, I know that it can be discouraging. I know that it can be, you know, it can hurt to trust. It can hurt to have have faith. But God is like, I need you to keep pushing. I need you to keep believing. I need you to keep trusting. And even in those moments where you don't have the strength to trust or the strength to believe again, I need you to ask of me and I will give it to you. Lord, strengthen my faith. Breathe upon my faith. Help me to believe again. Help me to, to trust you again. And God will help you. So be encouraged on today, whoever this word is for. Um, please um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and even share this post with um, you know other individuals because we, whoever this word is for, it's going to get to you. But let's do our part in regards to sharing it. And then also, please, 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 
feel free to, you know, leave your comments below. Let me know how, you know, this channel has, you know, impacted you. And then also if this word is for you, if it's a confirmation from the Lord, it's really, really encouraging when I see your um, post you know, your comments, excuse, excuse me, down below, just letting me know like this word, you know, really touched my heart. This word is a confirmation. I mean, this is, uh, we are a family on this channel. It's life more abundantly. Like I don't want to just live life more, but excuse me, goodness. <laughs> I don't want to just live life more abundantly, you know, for myself, but I pray the Lord's blessing on your life as well, that you would not just live life, but you would live it in great abundance. Like you, like you would have no lack or need of anything. And so I pray the remainder of your year is your best year. God bless.